Hello guys, glad to have you back for another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be discussing the server storage and we're also going to be discussing the clone method in Roblox. It's very similar to in real life when you are not using certain things you send them to storage to store them. So in Roblox when you're not using something in the game like at the moment immediately you send them to storage and that's where you put them. You put them in server storage to store them. And when you're ready to use them, you're going to be you're going to move them back into the appropriate places where they belong. For example, right here I have a yellow ball, but if I if I don't need to use it right away, I'm going to move it to storage. So I'm going to move it to the server storage and I'm going to put it there. So now you can see the yellow ball is no longer in my game. If I play right now, there's, there's going to be no yellow ball in my game because it's in storage. Now when I'm ready to use the yellow ball in my game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a script to bring it back into the workspace. So let's do that right now. We're going to go to the service, script service. We're going to add a script. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare a local variable to reference to that yellow ball. So it's going to be... Let's call it ball and we'll set it equals to game dot server storage dot yellow ball. All right, so we have the game and then we go to server storage here and then the yellow ball. So this ball here is this yellow ball in the server storage. And to move it to our game, all we have to do is to set the parent to our workspace. So we're going to say ball.parent equals to game.workspace. And let's give it 10 seconds before we do this. So we can see that when we first come into the game, the ball is not there. But then after 10 seconds, it's going to appear. Or maybe we only need 8 seconds. Now let's play the game and take a look. So here I am, there's no yellow ball anywhere, but give it 8 seconds, that was, that, that was 8 seconds already, and there it is, there's the ball. Now I can kick the ball, I can run around and play with the ball. Now the second thing we're going to talk about today is the clone method. So when you just move the ball from server storage to the workspace, then you only have that one ball that, that was in storage, and now you take it out and play in the game. But let's say if you want to replicate that ball, so instead of having just one ball in, in server storage, instead of having one ball in the game, you want to make multiple copies of the ball that is in the storage, and then you, you want to bring the, the, the copies into the game. So to do that, you're going to use the clone method. So let's rename this ball to ball copy. And instead of using the original ball that is in the server storage, we're not going to touch this ball. We're going to make a copy of that ball. So we're going to use the clone method. We're going to say colon clone. So here I have the original ball in my server storage. And I'm not going to use that ball, but I'm making a clone copy of it. So this ball copy now it's going to be the clone copy of the original ball it's not the original ball but it is the clone copy of it and now i'm going to move the clone copy to my workspace so i'm going to say ball copy dot parent equals to game dot workspace so now i move the clone copy to my game and you're going to see the ball appearing in the game and now if you want to make multiple copies, you're just going to copy this. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it down here. Let me take out the space here. And we're just going to wait for 5 seconds this time. So, so this is going to give me one copy of the ball. This is going to give me a second copy of the ball in the game. And if you want to 
have another copy, you can make one more copy. So now I'm going to have three copies of the ball in the game. The first one is going to appear after eight seconds. And then each one after that is going to take five seconds for it to appear in the game. Let's play and take a look. All right, so now there's nothing, no ball in the game. And that's the first one. Wait for another five seconds. You should see a second one. There's a second one. And another five seconds, we should see the third one. And see how they're overlapping because when we bring them in, we're bringing them in at the same location. So that's why they're overlapping. But we do have three balls in our workspace. I think we just lost one. Oh, it's still there. And the final thing we're going to discuss today is the, the scripts that are inside the server storage. So when you put a script inside server storage, for example, if we're going to add a script here, inside server storage, it's this one right here. And let's call this hello. So basically my script is just going to print out hello world, but it's inside server storage. So it's not going to run. This script is not going to run until we move it into somewhere where it can run. For example, like the workspace. So here, if I'm going to wait for another five seconds, and then I'll move the script to the, the uh, game.workspace. I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to type. Paste it in here. I'm going to rename this variable to, let's say, uh, hello. And it's going to be in game service storage and hello is the name of the script. Right, so we're declaring a variable called hello and we're referencing to our hello script in the service storage. Um, I don't need to make a clone of it, so I'm just going to remove this. And then we're going to set its parent, the script parent, hello, to game.workspace. So we're moving it to the uh, workspace, and that's when it's going to start to run. So as you enter the game, you're not going to see, you're not going to see the uh, hello message here. It's going to wait till it's done all these before it prints out the message. Let's play and take a look. So here you can see I have opened up my output window and there's the first ball. Waiting for the second ball, there's the second ball and the last ball. Notice there's no messages, no message in here, no hello message in the uh, output window and another five seconds and there it is there's a hello message and now if you look in the workspace the hello script is there has been moved to the workspace okay everyone so that's how the server storage and the clone method work in roblox take care and we'll see you again soon